was actually my mentor, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling him. I'm going to tell him. Um, is, is it possible? Can I get the house lights back here? Is that possible to do? I really thank you very much. Isn't the theater lovely? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I was thinking when I was getting ready to do this, uh, Augusto and I met 25 years ago. It's, it's amazing to me it's that long ago. And although my own work in the last 10 years has taken a direction that is different now from his, he remains a very, very dear friend. And so it's both a real pleasure and a privilege to be reading his words to you here today. All human societies are spectacular in their daily life and produce spectacles at special moments. Now, in order to understand this, you have to realize that in the Portuguese, which is translated from spectacular means to have uh, the nature of a show. This is the only time I'm going to interrupt this, but it's important that you know the nature of a show. And so to start again. All human societies are spectacular in their daily life and produce spectacles at special moments. They're spectacular as a form of social organization and produce spectacles like the one you've come here to see. Even if one is unaware of it, human relationships are structured in a theatrical way. The use of space, body language, choice of words, and voice modulation. The confrontation of ideas and passions. Everything that we demonstrate on the stage, we live in our lives. We are theater. Weddings and funerals are spectacles, but so also are daily rituals so familiar that we're not conscious of this. Occasions of pomp and circumstance, but also the morning coffee, the exchange, the good mornings. Timid love and storms of passion. A Senate session or a diplomatic meeting. All of it is theater. One of the main functions of our art is to make people sensitive to the spectacles of daily life in which the actors are their own spectators. Performances in which the stage and the stalls coincide. We are all artists. By doing theater, we learn to see what is obvious, but what we usually can't see, because we're only used to looking at it. What is familiar to us becomes unseen. Doing theater throws the light on the stage of daily life. Last September, we were surprised by a theatrical revelation. We, who thought that we were living in a safe world, despite wars, despite genocide, despite slaughter and torture, which certainly exist, but far from us, in remote and wild places. We, who were living in security, with our money invested in some respectable bank, or in some honest trader's hands in the stock exchange, we were told that this money did not exist, that it was virtual a fictitious invention by some economists who were not fictitious at all and neither reliable nor respectable. Everything was just bad theater, a dark plot in which a few people won a lot and many people lost all. Some politicians from rich countries held secret meetings in which they found some magic solutions. And we, the victims of their decisions, have remained spectators in the last row of the balcony. 
20 years ago, I staged Racine's Phaedra in Rio de Janeiro. The stage setting was poor. Cow skins on the ground, bamboos around. Before each presentation, I used to say to my actors, the fiction we created today is over. When you cross those bamboos, none of you will have the right to lie. Theater is the hidden truth. When we look beyond appearances, we see oppressors and oppressed people in all societies, in all ethnic groups, genders, social classes, and castes. We see an unfair and cruel world. We have to create another world. We know it's possible. But it is up to us to build this other world with our hands, by acting on the stage, and in our life. Participate in this spectacle which is about to begin. And once you're back at home, with your friends, act out your own place. And look at what you were never able to see, that which is obvious. Theater is not just an event. It is a way of life. We are all actors. Being a citizen is not living in a society. It is changing it.